it's your boy Sean Beasley, and this is the Drop Night Show, and we back. Yup, it's Thursday, and I got my lovely co-host, <laughs> K Wonder, in hey, the building. And we have a guest in the building. Yes. yes sir. Super yes, sir. talented rap artist. Jerome. Jerome Allen in the building. Not nice Jerome. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I had to hear that my whole, my whole life. And then he do it right here, right? <laughs> it wouldn't be natural if he did it. Right. Very honest to be here. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. For, you. Thank you for we've joining been, us. You could have been on this show. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> I want go in the email and I'm like, oh, it okay. Finally happened. Finally happened, yeah. okay. Yeah. So what was that all about? Why oh, it took it you so long? Time. It was just timing. It was just timing. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go when I didn't want to get up here and, and, and BS, like not know what to talk about. Right. Just waste time. Mm-hmm. Like I, so I had to take my time, had to really figure out like, all right, well, what am I going here for? Mm-hmm. What like what what's going on in life? Plus I wasn't inspired musically okay. at the time. Mm. So it's like I'm not about to go up here and just talk about things that I did in the past. You know what I'm saying? I'm talk about <laughs> I think we should talk about that. Yeah. Why wasn't you inspired with music no more? Uh I wasn't inspired, uh, Cause I, I write I, reality raps, like I talk about my reality. Okay. So if I ain't got nothing going on, it ain't nothing for me to talk about. Right. Reality wise, okay. Yeah, like if I'm like, for instance, if I go to work Monday through Friday, and that's all I did, it's like what um, I can't talk about. I can't rap about work. Mm-hmm. Three, three. You know what I'm saying? I just mm-hmm. can't talk about that. So at the time, it just wasn't nothing going on except for like life, like regular life. It wasn't nothing exciting, nothing sad, nothing. It was just regular life. Waking up, <laughs> just living. Is that why Mary can't make a successful album no more? Because there's not enough sad stuff going on. Oh, don't say, yeah. don't say that. I was just listening to um Mary J. Blige. I'm sure uh, she got a lot of writers. Does she even write her own music? Not no more. <laughs> did she ever? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, that's a good question, right? I she did. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. So listen, Jerome, you are how old? Uh, 23. 23 from New wow. Jersey. Blackwood, New Jersey, right? Blackwood. Reppin' Jersey. Blackwood. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you started out doing this when you were like, was it like, what age did you really start taking like rapping or writing? To be completely honest, I recorded my first song like age of four. Wow. I was four. Four? So, what did that sound like? Um, it, it, <laughs> Terrible. Probably terrible. <laughs> that was probably like on the... Um, Cassette. Yeah, the cassette. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad did music. And, okay. And my dad, not to, you know. Brag. Yeah. <laughs> Brag. He was pretty good, and he would watch me in the studio. Like, that's where I, I grew up. Like, I didn't grow up, like, in, like, like daycares and stuff like that, but I will be in the studio. <laughs> More than daycare. They go, yeah, when they would go for their smoke break, he'd be like, man, let my son get in there and rap, and just rap. And then I would just rap. And then they'll be like, sometimes they wouldn't record, and right. I would just be rapping. But then sometimes they record it, and then like my dad let me hear it, and I'll be hype, I'll be geek. Do you have any audio of that? I don't actually. That would be and so I'm, dope yeah. to put that in one of your records. I got I actually have a, on my phone. I have a freestyle when I was like nine. Oh yeah. yeah oh, you scared. definitely gotta let yeah. us hear that one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It was actually hard too. It was, like, I was, it was hard too. <laughs> well, what were you going through at nine years old that you had to talk about? <laughs> listen, man, listen, man. Games <laughs> and girl, games <laughs> and bikes. You know what I mean? It was a lot on me at the time. My boss had a new bike at the time. <laughs> Like, nah, so, so at 19, Jerome, um, you linked up with uh, a major heavy hitter out of Philly who yes. was actually managing you at one point. Yes. And his and she goes by the name of Jaguar Wright. Mm-hmm. How did that come about? Yeah. I was at um I was working at Walmart at the time mm-hmm. and I hated that job. And every day I was just like, if I can just get something to make me quit this job, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> And um, my brother called me and was like, my dad called me actually. No, I was I was on break and it was like 50 calls. I'm like, why is everybody calling me? And they were like, yo, uh, you know Jaguar, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's the girl, uh, the lady that uh, sung this song free because that was like my favorite song. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Was, like I know her and I'm like, all right, bro, <laughs> you don't know her. You know what I'm saying? And they was like, yo, she heard your music, she's out here, she want to meet you. And I'm like, hold on. So then I called my dad. I was like, dad, is this true? He's like, yeah. So I went to my manager. I was like, look, I'm out. <laughs> so <laughs> then I left and then that's how it happened. She met with me. I went to the Beanie Siegel concert mm-hmm. in the TLA like two, 2015. Okay. I met, um, they probably, he probably don't remember, but I got the chance to meet him. I met Freeway. Mm-hmm. I met uh, the Young Guns. And so state property one of West yeah. State property. Okay. And then, um, I had a and then my phone was broke at the time. Like my camera was broke. So I couldn't take, like, <laughs> Dad, the only way I could take right. it is if the front camera and I didn't want to be. <laughs> so it was like, when it was the selfie, 
selfie right back then, right? That, that was the real crazy. selfie. <laughs> but yeah, she was managing me, and um, actually, she got me a record with um, with Petey. Okay. Uh, Miss Jag. I mean, not Miss Jag. Miss Jade. Okay. And uh, Emilio Sparks. Oh, oh wow You was yeah. all in the Philly hip hop Yeah so I was doing that And I had a session with PD at one point And he was supposed to hop on one of my records But then they ended up going on the state property tour That same summer So it was just mm-hmm. like, and I was, So you To go back You said you had a manager Yes And then you heard Jaguar right And you left Oh no I didn't No he I, said I manager at Walmart At Walmart <laughs> Oh okay I was like whoa 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 Wait a minute It's <laughs> my hours <laughs> <laughs> on the slave ship at Walmart. Yeah, sure. so, Good at Walmart. She was wildin'. Are you and her so cool? Do y'all? I love Mrs. Jack to, to death. She's yeah. the biggest. She's, she's the craziest, awesome. most wild, beautiful woman ever. Aww, yeah. yeah. I heard home. she don't take no shit. Yeah, she don't. She don't. <laughs> she used to call me at like 8 o'clock in the morning like, yo, I got a studio session at 12 o'clock. You got to be here. Like, like, oh, what, what, what's the address? What, what I'm writing to? She's like, oh, yeah. Uh, it's a song about a girl. Write a verse. Click. I'm like, all right. So I had to write it on the train. You know what I'm saying? It'd be crazy. So, yeah, I want to talk about that. You're right. Is crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you read? You obviously read a lot. Yes. Very yeah. got to. Okay. Three point six GPA. Yeah. You smart. You smart. Smart. Yeah. All right. It's yeah. Super smart. Right. How important do you feel that is as an artist to have that as a skill? Um, I feel like the writing is the important part because anybody can. Because nothing nobody's saying hasn't already been said before. Right. It's okay. How they say it. You Correct. Know what I'm saying? Like. It's like Jay Z talks about what the same things, but he articulates it like the same thing he talks about four 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 is probably the same thing he's talking about on Reason Without. It's just he know how to articulate, he know how to write it. Right. And like I said, I grew up in the studio, so I, that's I come from that era. Like I'm this generation, but I really come from that era. That era, like, right? My first CD. Like real CD was two poplars now. Oh wow! wow. Like, oh, that's CD. super. And it was a burnt CD. So oh, like, you know what I'm saying? So See, like, black people always burning CDs. <laughs> burnt CD and uh, bootleggers. The bootlegging. Yeah, and I say that to say like those were the people that I was watching, like listening to because my dad wouldn't let me listen to like Nelly and Ja Rule and stuff like that. I wanted to because they was on the radio, but he was like, Nah. They corny. Oh this yeah. Person. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? I want to listen to uh, what was the song? What was my song? Um, not hot in here. What's the other uh, Nelly song? Um, ride with me. Ride with me. Uh, oh, if you want to dance, ride with that me. Was my song. <laughs> I tell people because I'm a manager, right? And I tell people for songwriters or any artist, melodies are so yeah. important. They've always been important, though. They've always been important. Always. always. Yeah. Because even people like James Brown, James Brown wouldn't say nothing for seven seven minutes, but he'll <laughs> harmonize everything. Like I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't know what he said, but I feel him. I definitely feel him. Is that what kids do now in rap? You know. The uh, mumble rappers, they ain't saying nothing, nah, but they harmonize. Yeah. Like, they melodies. The, the Migos. Migos melodies yeah. are crazy. Yeah, for sure. Like, you can just mimic their, <laughs> just mimic it. Like, you don't even got to say it. You can just mimic it, so. How important do you feel any type of way if, like, when Drake was exposed for a night not writing his records, mm-hmm. how do you feel about artists not writing their they records? I feel like it all depends on how they were brought up. Mm-hmm. Because my favorite artist, well, my favorite person is Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Kanye, Kanye West is a is a musical mind, so I don't really look at him mm-hmm. as a writer. Kanye West is good at making a song and getting the right writers to make that song and getting the right visual. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't write his raps, but that's okay with me because I know he's not really putting himself out there as a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Drake, um, don't diss me, Drake. But um, I, I don't I don't really feel no type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I, I feel like he can't really say he's the best. Like he can't say he's the best rapper because he's you can't. Be the best rapper if you're not writing your own. Really? Mm. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, 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 concur. I concur. I concur terribly. <laughs> we both concur. We give you a big thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> but I do feel like he's the best artist. Now, if he was to say I'm an artist, yeah. that's right. different because Michael Jackson wasn't writing stuff on Thriller. Right. You know oh, what I'm saying? But that's a great album. Right. So he's he, an all around great artist, right. performer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it, it, it broke down. Like, if, like if I find out Nas didn't write, if I find out like Nas didn't write anything or like Tupac or Big Albie, it will break you I and her heart. What? It would be heartbroken. Yeah, I love Nas. I am I a big Nas fan of Nas. Like, For but sure. um, so so 
From your experience working with Miss Jaguar Wright and, and meeting up with PD and all of these other people and doing um, tracks with them, state property, you went on and put out your own mixtape. Yeah. Mixtape. And what was the name of that? Uh, where to now? Okay. And what was what was the basis of that? Like, uh, where to now was about everybody. My closest friends know that I rap, <laughs> but the people like a lot of people knew me as the basketball because I played basketball. And where to now was a, a song. Uh, originally, the concept was. From graduation to where I was at, mm -hmm. like, what, what am I doing? Because this person just got a full ride to go here. Mm -hmm. That person just had a baby. What are you doing? Oh, you do music? Oh, why are you doing music now? Because you mm -hmm. didn't get a scholarship to play basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was, I was just trying to answer as much questions as possible. Mm -hmm. So that's what that was about. Okay. So why did you pick music over basketball? Um, uh, it wasn't... All right, so... Music, like I said, I've been doing music since I was four. Mm -hmm. uh, basketball was something that came to me in middle school because, uh, like, I grew up making music. And then when I got 13, I'm like, yo, like, nobody else is writing raps. Mm -hmm. They going to the dances, getting girls, playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And I've always liked basketball, so I was like, I might as well just play. And long story, make a long story short, I got cut. Oh, you wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, originally, <laughs> originally, 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 I wasn't good. I got okay. cut. And then I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm playing basketball. And then, like, from there, I just was on a school team. Okay. And then at 16, I really wanted to drop out of school and just focus on music. Like, I, okay. that's what I wanted to do. But basketball has just always been therapeutic for me. Okay. But music is just mm. like... That's, that's more therapeutic. Yeah, that's just me. Like, that's yeah. me. I can yeah. never stop writing raps. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I can get hurt. I can hurt my knee. But I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just you still have your voice. Yeah, for sure. Plus, it's, it's, mine. plus yeah. it's men's leagues around. Mm -hmm. It's a park, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. open recs and stuff like that. But music, that's just what I do. That's what I just love to do. Mm -hmm. So how did that project do when when it came out? Um, locally, it, it did good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I was up to like a uh, couple couple thousand streams like the first couple of days. I was on a uh, Spinrilla like new artist release. Mm -hmm. I was doing good. I was getting a lot of calls, girls from middle school, like, yo, you was always handsome. Oh my god. Man. Oh now now I'm oh, handsome, huh? Man. Come All on. Right. Yeah. Show child just started flowing like water, yeah, huh? Sure. And you and you <laughs> fell into it, didn't you? Nah, nah, nah. I was like, I gotta go. Oh. <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, you seem too smart for that. Oh my, you seem you. super too smart oh for my, that. But it did good. Um I feel like I could have did better, but I was un like I was just so hyped to get the project out that right. I didn't take the necessary steps. Like, yo, you gotta promote this thing when you mm -hmm. drop it. You gotta mm -hmm. do an interview. You gotta mm -hmm. do some visuals. You mm -hmm. gotta just going on the fly because I was right. recording songs all the time, and I'm just like, bro, I just want to show people I can make this mixtape. And you know, I kind of jumped the gun, but yeah, I, it did good though. That's good. good. That's good. Well, let's fast forward now. You have a mixtape out now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a that's little EP. Yeah, a little, little EP. EP, and it's out. Um, Can you please tell people what's the difference between a mixtape and an EP? Um, a mixtape, an EP is like a shortened version of anything. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, the terminology is extended play. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a condensed project. You know what I'm saying? But now, who knows nowadays? You know, everybody. Mix albums, EPs, mixtapes, and just call it everything. So, right. Uh, Usher put out a, I don't know what it was called. Yeah, me either. It's like, and they hey, came and went. Yeah. No one cared. Yeah. It was an EP or was it an actual album? They said it was an EP. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I just seen Usher drop something and I just clicked it because that's because you know, <laughs> like Usher. Usher. Yeah. <laughs> My mom had uh, confessions growing up, so. So the name of the um, EP that you have out right now is called um, Fourth Quarter. Yes. So tell us about that project. Fourth Quarter was a project uh, that I made in my room. Not like recorded, but wrote. Right. Okay. I was just like, yo, the new year about to come. It's fourth quarter, technically. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm, I'm about to just find as many beats as I can, write as many songs as I can in two weeks. That's all I was giving myself was two weeks to mm -hmm. write as many songs as I can. Because my cousin was coming up from uh, South Carolina, and he always be like, yo, y'all don't do nothing when I come up here. So I'm like, yo, we're going to go to the studio. We're going to sit there all day. <laughs> That's still not doing nothing. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, like you're going to like, we go out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go out, go out. Because, yeah, it ain't doing nothing. <laughs> but I let him get a verse So Oh okay oh, He got something in there Yeah so I was just like You know what I'm gonna do it And I did it I wrote uh, seven records Like mm -hmm. in, in two weeks Went in uh, Got like a five hour session And just knocked it out Didn't really care about The mixing like that Like I just wanted to do it Just mm -hmm. to, to show myself Like yo Like you gotta take creative risks You gotta be 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Plus, this is like a microwave era, so you got to keep... Yeah. Right, right. Yes, right. So super like, facts. I got to give people something. Even if it's not the best, I got to give people something. Right, you know right, right, right. So we're going to jump into this first song um, off of... It's off of that fourth quarter. Oh. Um, is it right... Right back. No, right okay. back is actually a single that I Okay, dropped. okay. Yeah. So we're going to get in that right now. I actually love that oh, thank um, you. that Appreciate song. It. Between Appreciate that it. one and the she one we're going to play next. She said you're very melodic. You are. Did, Am but, I really? But this is the thing, and I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I never heard that. You sound like Drake. <laughs> She said I'm sorry <laughs> I gotta keep it a bean You sound like Drake But that's not a bad thing It's all good Have you heard that yeah, before? Uh, I've, I've heard that I've heard okay. that I've heard that I've heard that it's So cool. I mean like If you really wanted to get A little further Off of that clout You could Because you literally Do sound like him I mean it, I don't it, no, it doesn't offend. It doesn't okay, I didn't want to offend you like, oh, this my we, boy. Uh, I want, it wouldn't offend me. We are uh, facts. He's the, <laughs> arguably the best. We got the same birthday though, so that's oh, probably. Oh wow. Okay. We, uh, okay. We both Scorpios, so yeah, we both. probably talk a lot. Yeah. Talk, uh, talk the same. Yeah. Well, uh, you rap sound the same. That's for sure. To me, at I least. I gotta switch. I'm about to uh, start rapping like MG. <laughs> And that's another one of my favorite artists. <laughs> but we're going to get into that song right now. It's um, Jerome Allen, um, Rome Allen, whichever, you know yeah, what I mean, whatever Rome flows off Rome your tongue Rome. best. Yeah, Romy Rome. Um, and the D-E-A-E-L. <laughs> and we're going to get into it right now. It's called Right Back on the Drop Night Show. Let's go. Go. Yes, and that was Jerome Allen right back on the Drop Night Show. Yes, yes. I am your girl, K Wonder. I got my host, Sean Beasley. Yeah. Mara D, she is actually visiting family. So, um, it's always a yeah, good thing when we, you visit family. We, it's always. normally three of us, but yeah. it's the, you know, two of us right now. But we got, you know, Jerome Allen in the building. Yeah. So tell and, us a little mm-hmm. bit about Right Back. Um, right Back was a record that I put together. Um, Right Back was a record that I put together. It was a fun record because mm-hmm. I feel like people was focusing. Uh, people keep saying, like, not that lyric, being lyrical is a bad thing, mm-hmm. but, like, yo, dumb it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that We was, just heard somebody last week say, what is dumbing it down? Dumb, well, I don't, I don't want to call my consumers dumb, my fans dumb, or any fans dumb, but make it, like, making it more simple. Like, yeah. making a hook that's repetitive so you can sing to it. But why? Um... Because you just have to be if you if you want to be successful you have to be uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah, facts. And I keep telling people that's not true because we wouldn't have Kendrick Lamar. But you got to. We wouldn't have J Cole. But you have to think. They though. they started out. The that's one what I'm saying. Actually. You got to think though. They may not purposely do it, but like, uh, bitch don't kill my. Vibe. I don't mean to. Yeah, 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 yeah you bitch can. don't kill my vibe. That's a that's a catchy song. Yeah, you know bitch don't saying? kill my vibe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but he that's not that's his version of dumbing it down. Mm-hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody has their own versions of doing it. You just can't have like a bunch of. I'm not gonna say you can't, but it's hard to have a lot of success, like mainstream success, if if that's what people want, with a bunch of 17 songs of like bar 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 yeah, bar, 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 bar 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 hard hitting. Yeah. Lyrical miracle swimming pool, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like a bunch of that. So it's like you just have <laughs> basically to, the hook just has to be catchy. What That's a hook, it. and you like just make it like right back. It's a lot of um, like like fun, like fun. Mm-hmm. Like I said, um, oh how I go? Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot my own. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. That means you writing so much. Yeah. Files, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I said, uh, Rome Valen, if you ain't no bet, you heard it now. I'm probably the only dark skinned golden child. I'm probably the only youngin that can go for miles, switch styles. Y'all got to chant me like black and miles. Yeah. February flows, yeah, we blacking out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just keep it real, like, because people who smoke miles, like, oh, I smoke miles. And I right, 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 right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, just like that, instead of saying, like, Going into details about the ingredients into a black and mild. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, right. All right, bro. So, yeah, just keep Consumer it. Consumer minds is not that small, like that big to really yeah. consume so much of the verbiage that you're saying on the record nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, that's why execs tell people to dumb it down. Yeah, for sure. But again, it all depends on the artist. I think all mm-hmm. artists should stay true to themselves. Yeah. Correct. Because not everybody's going to be Jerry, Drake. Not everybody's going to be Kendrick Lamar. Not everybody's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Some people might end up like Talib Kweli, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Talib Kweli is touring for the rest of his, his life. life. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's what people don't understand. Like, people think, like, oh, I need a number one. No, you don't. You just need to be 
feed your family. For instance, we can say Will Smith. Will Smith did not cuss. And, yeah, and, at all. He was, and I yeah. thought he was lying because I'm like, no, I'm about to listen to this. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to listen to this. It, it was I tried just, to listen to an album. I'm like, yo, you really ain't cursing. Right. Yo, yep, he was just kept it real, real light and friendly, mm-hmm. and, but he just never cussed. Stand and, yeah. you know, staying true to himself. Stand exactly. True. So that's very important. Um, all right, so listen, what what is a day like in for you? For you, what is a day like for Jerome? I'm probably the most boring person. Of your <laughs> I'm sure you live in Jersey. <laughs> oh, I know you're not throwing shots. Where are you from? Philly. Okay. Of Where's course, a lot right? To do? Okay. Yeah. And only till three, then the shit gets boring. What part of Philly? Uh. Really he lives where the Caucasians live. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't really like been in Philly, Philly, like explore Philly since I was 18. And I live right there. <laughs> oh, that's wow. crazy. But the average day for me, it, it what's the weather like? T- today? Like, I'm saying like, what's like, could you say the average day? Like, yeah, what, like, what, I mean, like, what does it consist? I, I wake up, I... I... Uh, so I wake up, um, I always try to start the day with some uh, motivation. So I'll try to see who who's doing music. Mm-hmm. Watch The Breakfast Club. Watch uh, Everyday Struggle, Joe Button Podcast. Mm-hmm. Just try to keep doing something, first take or something. Basketball. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. 2K first. Got to get some 2K in. <laughs> Got to get some 2K in. Damn, and you ain't you on our podcast and didn't even say the drop night shit. Damn. <laughs> You, you didn't let me finish. What are we doing, what are we you doing bro? You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> Eat, then listen to some, you know what I'm saying, the night drop show. <laughs> After lunch, you didn't let me finish. No, nah, go ahead. Go. You're good. You're good. <laughs> he said 2K, though. He had to get the 2K in there and the ball. Yeah, but basketball for sure. Okay. Basketball. And then um, probably just chill. Chill was, uh, you know. Where are you getting your production from? Um, in the internet, uh, internet, and I pay for it. I pay for it too. I pay okay. for Are it you well. paying for it and consuming the rights up for it? Come on, of course. Okay. Of course. You're smart. Of okay. Of course. Of course. But I Do, are they sending you the session files? I go to the session. Oh, okay. Mm. I go to the session. I get the files. I got. Uh, I always go with a um, USB. B. Mm-hmm. Got to get them things, man. Facts. Gotta yeah. Get them things. Cause there's a lot of people that got in trouble off of those yeah, beats. I learned off of where to now is like I leased it, I leased a, a couple beats, mm-hmm. and then I realized like yo I'm leasing it. Somebody else is leasing it. That person's getting a bread. The producer's making a bread from it. So it's like if it blows up, I'm not making. I'm gonna make a couple dollars, but mm-hmm. they, they really you know, know, keep letting it. people lease it. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm just like hmm. so I gotta get some rights. Yeah. But then they be wild and like trying to charge like a couple thousand dollars. And you be like, who you produce for who? That's what I'm saying. How many hits you have? That's oh, what I'm okay. saying. Like, no, I'm not about to pay five thousand dollars for a beat and it's, and ain't even get five thousand views. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. <laughs> what have you learned about the business since you've been, you know, taking taking your craft um, more serious? Ownership. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ownership, inconsistency, uh, and, and you'll go a long way. If you're mm-hmm. consistent with what you do, mm-hmm. if you do something for as as as, cons- as long as if you do something consistent, you're going to break through eventually. Mm-hmm. And just make sure you own something because it's been plenty, plenty of artists that topped the charts that didn't own anything. Mm-hmm. TLC, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's that was that hurt. Crazy, that hurt. yeah. Crazy. They were so talented, so talented. and and like they so just talented. got robbed. And one of my favorites, um, the late Tupac. You know, mm-hmm. he wasn't like, yeah, he wasn't. You know, uh, mm-hmm. all eyes on me was like. I mean, uh, you guys were like in in that era, like that yeah. was yeah. a monster when it came mm-hmm. out. He wasn't really eating off of that, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like his mom had to go to court for that. So ownership yep. is the most important thing. Okay. The most important thing. Okay. Most important thing. So I do want to get into this next song we have. This is my favorite. It's Dear Summer. Well, thank summer's you, thank coming. You, thank thank you. you guys. Spring. Yes. So now we got summer knocking on the door. So this is spring Jeez. weather, right? It's raining. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I uh, was listening to that song and it was so deep. And you thank were you. talking about. Uh-huh. How you lost a friend? Yeah, for sure. For sure. And um, for sure. how did how it affected you and all? Sure. So just give us a little bit about that song, come on. Dear Summer came about. Um, I actually had the beat because I actually wrote this song, Dear Summer, to Jay Z's Dear Summer. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But then when okay. I heard the beat, I said, Oh, this sounds like this feels like a dark summer to mm-hmm. me at least. It felt like a dark summer. And where I'm from, I'm from Blackwood, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not much to do. So what do people do when it's nothing to do? They get into some BS. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I was I was hanging out with friends. He's not a bad kid, but it's nothing to do. Mm-hmm. So right. he want to get money. It's summertime. Who, who don't want to get money? He right. want to get yeah. money. He want to look fly. He want mm-hmm. the, the Balenci's and stuff like that. So he in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm at work. 
You feel what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it's like that's not important to me. Right. right. So, um, so he's in the streets. I'm I'm doing that, and you know what I'm saying? It's just like the summer really brings out the good and bad in everybody. Everybody, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. And I lost my friend. The day before I dropped my tape And it was just like mm. Dang You know what I'm saying Like just to show Where we was at in life Like I'm working to make Put my mixtape out And you working To look fly You know what I'm saying mm. And not saying That's the wrong thing mm-hmm. And he just reached His untimely demise You know what I'm saying And it really affected me Because I was going off to school And I, I couldn't sleep mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I couldn't sleep at all Because he was my man So just, I just thinking like Yo like for real for real I could have been with him like that was the easy thing right. I could have been with him mm-hmm. So it's like It's just crazy Yeah It's just crazy And the bigger picture Is like I know his mom Right mm. Like forget like He's a spirit But I know his mom You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying right. like, I, like she's a Like she done held us down right. You know what I'm saying Like she okay. done took me home you know mm. what I'm saying? Like we done share shoes, share clothes. I'm at his crib at the barbecues, vice like. So I just feel for his mom, his family. So it was, it was just rough. Right. So I introduce your record. This is uh good afternoon, everybody. This is uh my record, Dear Summer. And if you ever lost anybody to the summer, or if you ever want to know what it's like to for people um, in, in in New Jersey to experience summers, this is definitely a record you should listen to and really lock in on. Definitely. Let's go on the drop night nice show on what ice right now. Here we go. And it's the Drop Night Show. It's your girl, K-Wonder. Um, that was Dear Summer from Jerome Allen, um, New Jersey's own finest. <laughs> um, can you relate to that song? I can. I can, because yeah. I got into some shit during the summer. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> Bitch, I went to prison during the summer, okay? <laughs> yes. I went to That's t- crazy, because I got, um, I mentioned it too, I got in trouble too. On yeah, some, on some, yeah. On some, like... The summer wow. has a way of bringing out the good, cause you you know you're half naked all the time. Yeah, yeah, you know, looking good. It's like an oxygen. Yeah, wow. it is. Right? Maybe I need to follow suit and do something bad this summer, huh? Nah, it's not. <laughs> nah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you got the bell money. <laughs> It's not that it's not that you'll do something bad. It's mm. just the envi- it's just environment. Yeah, it you know, is. I feel like it people is. get more territorial too. Yeah. Mm. Like like South how people act on South Street mm-hmm. when it's summer yeah. versus how people act on South Street when it's winter. You, you know see what I'm it. saying? Two you might, yeah. you yeah. might bump somebody on accident in the winter. They're like, my fuck, it's too cold. You know what I'm saying? It's way too cold. Let you bump somebody in the summer in front of their friends. It's like, yeah. watch. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. It's so, a fact, though. Killings go up during the summer. For sure. Yeah. So, are you where you want to be as an artist yet? No. Where do you want to be? Um, As an artist or as a. As an artist. Um, As an artist, I want to be more known. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to be more known. But as a, I want to be more polished. I feel like I, I haven't hit my stride yet. Okay. Hmm. Like, I feel like I haven't I haven't really touched uh, different different type of instrumentations that I want to, different cadences that I want to touch to. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, just, I need growth. Definitely need growth. I'm only 23. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. need growth. Jordan number? Jordan Yeah, year. it's my Jordan year. Your Jordan oh, year? Oh, 23. Year. It surely is. My Jordan year. So, listen, we like to um, intertwine current events with our guests and then, you know, ask them some mm-hmm. questions and stuff. Um, one in particular today, um, I don't know if you're you're into basketball, so maybe you heard of yeah, yeah. Cliff Cliff Dixon. And he, he actually passed away. He was best friends with, with KD. Um, yeah, yeah, I heard he got killed. Yeah, he got yeah. killed. Yeah. Celebrating yeah. his birthday. birthday. Um, really unfortunate. Very really unfortunate. unfortunate. Crazy his family, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, definitely want to send a you know a, yeah. a, a shout out or condolences. There's always targets on these athletes' back. And it's always it's, it's always. sad. It's sad because it's like <clears throat> people work their whole lives. Like Kevin Durant worked his whole life, probably sacrifices half his life mm-hmm. to be where he's at. And then it's like he can't even walk down the street. His friends friends can't even enjoy themselves because right. why? Because he's a millionaire. Because mm-hmm. he played back. Like it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And the hate. The hate it is so hate. real. Like, the hate is so strong. Like it's. <sighs> How do you deal with hate? Do you do if you have do you have haters? Um yeah, I got I got some. I, <laughs> How do you deal with so. it? I would say so. Um the great Kobe Bryant once said, Work stress over what you can control and don't worry about what you can't control. Facts. You know so it's like I live life by that. Don't get me wrong. If I'm playing hoops though, because I don't really break out of character, you know what I'm saying? I'm a cool guy, but mm-hmm. if I get a, if we playing basketball and they hate and I'm gonna bust your ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm gonna get tight. <laughs> get tight, but yeah, people hate all the time. You know, it just I realize what you who you give energy to. Yeah. You see the picture that's floating around about Kobe Bryant? No. What? What, what? He's fat. 
He's chubby now? Yeah. Kobe's chubby? Yeah. I mean, he's Let retired. Myself. He's retired. <laughs> right. right. Like, I mean, he has a lot of money. And they are you, pregnant again. Did he, and he's probably pregnant is, too. Yeah, his did wife he, is uh, pregnant. Yeah. Have you heard his schedule? Like what he used to do? No. No. He'd wake up like 5, 4 30 in the morning, work out by, at like 4 o'clock in the morning mm. until like 8, then go home, rest, go back at like 10, and then. Like he would drive, literally be there for like 10, 16 hours, like just working out every like every day. That's why he's mentioned practice the makes perfect. Yeah, it's crazy. yeah. So um, also with the current events, there's um. Sorry. No, you're no, fine. You're there's um, there was something that was trending, and it was with um, Tom Ford. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if you all heard this, but Tom Ford said that he would not dress Melania Trump because he doesn't <laughs> feel like um, a glorified prostitute or gold digger <laughs> with with bad taste in men Jeez. is something that he wants to be involved with. Wow. <laughs> allegedly, that, allegedly. Okay. That was a lot. So. So, because of that, everybody, you know, of course, you know, at one point, I don't know if people are still doing it, but people were, were boycotting Gucci, okay? They, don't tell me they boycotting Tom No, Ford. no, no, they oh. were praising him, so everybody yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. so his sales went up, like, you I'm know, sure. because of that. Um, but I, I just felt like, you know, with with with, with society and, and um, especially with, like, this whole era with Trump, you can't knock that lady for her life. I know she didn't think that man was going to ever be president. president you know fact. what I mean? She was probably like, yeah, go ahead and run. For like, sure. you know, but. For sure. It's just that that's that generation we in, man. You can do anything. Clearly. It is just that when you're thrust in that spotlight, you can tell that she's uncomfortable. Yeah. And you can tell that she don't want to be there. Right. Yeah. Right. So don't treat her. Don't inter- don't attack her. Yeah. You can't do that to a female because she's you she's not the cause of her husband That's what causing yeah, so much chaos right in the world. Cue cards for right. Right. You know he ain't even right. Who's writing the cue cards for uh, for the cue cards for Trump? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> did you Do he even talk yeah, about anything vote? now? Yes, I did. I, I, he just trash talk Politics. Um, he actually is going back and forth with uh, Kellyanne Conway's husband. husband because her husband basically turned oh. down an offer that to work on his administration. And, what he and then he condemns him, nar- saying that he's, he's narcissistic and he also says he's not <laughs> mentally fit to, to be, be president. president. Which is clear, right? Yeah, like, very, very, clear. very clear. So do you guys think that we'll have another... Uh, who, do you, who, who are you voting for in 2020? Are you looking at any candidates right now? Are you voting in 2020? I don't really I feel like I need Barry, to. My man Barry Sanders is running. You're a B- B- Bernie no. Sanders fan? Bernie, I said Bernie. Bernie, Bernie you're a Bernie Sanders fan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he got my vote. He got uh, my vote. Why you say that? I don't see Bernie as president. Or Michelle, if she run. Oh, she's yeah, not she running. not running. She said <laughs> She said <laughs> Negative. She said it. I'm not running. <laughs> yeah, but probably Bernie. Bernie? Okay. Yeah. I, I, I would choose Bernie if he really had jumped on the bandwagon for the black people's getting reparations. Because he really kind of didn't. Yeah. He kind of tiptoed around it and said that, oh, there's other things that black people need more than just reparations. And I'm like, what do we need more than money <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> to give back to our communities and set us up? You know what right. I mean? Like, right. what more do we need? Right. But um, I also heard uh, this could be I, I don't know if this is true, but I think I heard um, he did something like he used to take Rosa Parks to work or something like that. Like he he did something like that. Somebody did something. No, Rosa no, Parks. Little Caesars. It was a little Caesars guy. <laughs> guy oh, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> Lord almost <laughs> choked the whole. <laughs> I'm like, yo, he is ancient, ancient, right. ancient. <laughs> <laughs> But no, Bernie. You wouldn't vote for your what is his name? He's from Jersey. Um, um, Cory Booker. Cory Booker. I don't really know too much about. How you doing, Cory? Cory, how you doing, Cory? Don't do that. <laughs> he said he dating Rosario Dawson though. He from Jersey. Yeah, okay. Consider him. He's from Jersey. I'm voting everything Jersey. See, Jersey all the way, ten toes down, baby. Thousand percent. Yeah. And Y'all cricket. How? Crooked. How? And Philly isn't. No, yeah, we hush, good. hush. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, supposedly they're supposed to be getting rid of y'all uh, soda tax. We don't got soda tax in Jersey. Because <laughs> the soda tax wasn't going to the schools. <laughs> it's going so in I those pockets. Get, I hope they get rid of that dumbass tax. It was like really That's like fix gonna, y'all potholes, we okay? We gonna stop this Philly Philly Jersey thing. Yeah. Right? Jersey Jersey's where it's at for real. <laughs> Jersey's where it's at. I get Jersey 
don't is in between two major cities so it's not a real identity it's okay we accept y'all it's okay it's okay anyway but look y'all treated Allen Iverson for Andre Miller and uh somebody else mm. I, I'm not hearing that mm. I'm not hearing that y'all traded Will Chamberlain for who mm. I think the AI time was up because I think he left the <laughs> no, Sixers what no. did he do he had he, he went to the Nuggets as an all-star starter he averaged like 26 but his name wasn't the big name when he was who AI when what? they traded him what and Andre Miller was AI was the city he was the city of Philly okay. like y'all accepted that man from Virginia and made him y'all pillar yeah. of the city we just have, showed him love in Jersey yeah he was governor or something I don't know about that, but I'm quite sure y'all would. <laughs> yeah. Shout Can you imagine you. AI in politics? Like, that no. Actually, that actually might have almost been my name, um, Alan. Jerome Allen Iverson. But I feel like it was too too long. Too long Jerome. Name. Yeah, I'm glad Allen. you didn't take that man name. <laughs> yeah. I, you would have really caught heat off of that one. I mean, hey, as a that's, kid, that's what people do right. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's what's going on. Rick Ross that's took right. Rick Ross. Fifty cent took fifty cent. So. Yeah. Hmm. You think about it. But no, we like we like Jerome Allen. Thank it's six, 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 six year identity. <laughs> who you really are. Who you. I hoop though, so it's like I could play on that. True. I mean, I, I could spin it. You know, I could spin it. <laughs> so what's next for you? Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, li- hopefully, I continue to you know do this thing we call life. Grow. Mm-hmm. Right. But um, what's next for me is a pro- I have a project I'm working on mm-hmm. in uh, in the summer that's dropping the EP uh, inspired by their summer. Okay. Um. And from there, I just want to continue to grow, continue to grow as an artist, continue to grow as a person, continue to grow as a son, a friend. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Good human. Just growth. All right. Yeah. Is there any artists in the city you particularly uh, would like to work with on the project, possibly? Uh, Philly. Uh, core. You yeah. Know, I mess with Core Heavy. Okay. Um, me, if you watching, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Holla at me. But now, nah, um... Nah, realistically, probably just I'll probably just do it myself. Yeah, you know yeah. Because I wanted to represent like for people who have never been in Blackwood, New Jersey, which a lot of people probably haven't. I want y'all to experience what a summer's like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want you. I want you to experience. Like I want you to be able. Like all right. Like I know like, where Sicklerville is. <laughs> We're not. Well, <laughs> or it's just in general. Like I want you to real like really feel what a summer is like in in an area that you've never been in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, because I um. That's a vibe. Mm-hmm. A bit. My biggest. One of my biggest inspiration is uh Walter D Myers. Okay. You know, yeah, he's an author. He wrote mm-hmm. Slam, and he was able to like take me to New York. Like I felt like I was in New York at Slam. Reading it right. Yeah, Walter D Myers is one of my favorite authors. Like I was so I wanted I wanted him to do the artwork for my first album. So it's like mm-hmm. he, 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 he reached speak it. Reached an untimely demise. Mm-hmm. But hopefully he got something in the tuck. Right. Like, right. His estate. I'm gonna have to holler at them. But yeah. That would be dope. That would like be dope. So listen, we greatly appreciate you coming through. For sure. Yeah, fam sure. Finally. On the drop. Sure. Finally. Anytime you have anything going on, just please reach again. out. Yeah, please. I will bring it back for the summer when that project drops. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. It's, let everybody know where they can find you on social media and you know t- to listen to the music. Obviously yeah. on SoundCloud and all those mm-hmm. those music streaming. Any shows coming up? All that. Um, I was gonna do a couple shows, but I just want to take take some time to just focus in on the music. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Just lock in for it. Um, but yeah, you can follow me on everything, literally everything, on, at Jerome Allen. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be on it because I try not to be on social media too much. But you can follow me on everything SoundCloud, Apple Music, Title, uh, what's Jay Z thing? Title. Title. Uh, Title. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can find me on everything. It's Jerome Allen. Yeah. And you say you don't try to be on social media as much, but social media is very powerful right now, especially mm-hmm. for indie yeah, artists. It is, it is, yeah. So, is. how do you do that? How do you weigh that? I try not to do it because it's like. Do you have Social a team that does it? No, I don't. Okay. I, do I kind of do everything. Yeah. Um, no manager? No, I don't. You need a team. No what happened to Jaguar Wright? Um, at the time, it was just, uh, she was going through a lot at okay. the time. You know what I'm saying? And I can't, I didn't want to be in a position to where, like, I'm just on call. Right, you know right, what I'm right. Saying? Like, I, we're, we're in a generation to where you can do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I just wanted to take my career into my own hands. But I'm, I'm always with it. You know what I'm saying? Miss Jack, she has my contact information. We can always set it up. Yeah. Just love. Well, look. It was a great pleasure. I definitely enjoyed talking to you. I didn't know what to expect. I knew you were very, like, 
bright, but you really, really um, superseded my expectations. So it was really dope. It was a very uh, yeah. great conversation. And shout yeah, out to your sure. brother who has a clothing line. Oh, yeah. What is shout it? out to my brother Meek, man. With Gold Soul yeah, yeah, Records. Yeah, 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 Gold Soul Clothing. So and shout out to my cousin Bobby, man, who, for making this possible. Yeah. Bobby. Bobby. I would just Bobby. 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 <laughs> Bobby. Oh, man, we like the Celtics, so I'm rooting again. If they play the Sixers, though, I got the Celtics. They trash. I we trashed them yesterday. That shit, yo, y'all, yo, y'all are one or ten in the past few years. Y'all That's fine. Twice, That's like fine. Twice. That's fine. Okay. We won last night, right? <laughs> <laughs> you did the last one, right? Big facts. Okay, I got, I got you. Yes, very competitive here on the Drop Night Show, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, we're gonna wrap this up, everybody. Yeah. Catch us back Thursday, every Thursday, right yeah, here yeah. on Water Ice Radio. It's the Drop Night Show with your girl K Wonder, Sean Beasley, and Mara D, and we are going to end the show with, since we were talking about Tom Ford, Jay-Z's Tom Ford, okay? Yeah, it only makes nice sense, right? It only makes sense. Y'all like that. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you guys next Thursday, yeah. and we're out.